All right, my good old uh, lucky uh, lucky dumpster. I always be finding stuff up in here. Look at that. I mean, look at that little piece of scrap. I think I see some wire back here. Let's check it out. Sometimes there's got boxes in these uh, boxes in these boxes. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Let's see it. There's a snippet. Here, how about that? Get us a little bit smaller of a box. Got this crap in here. Take a look at it, huh? Let's see here. Oh yeah! Look at all the snippets. Lots of snippets. Touching my snippets now. <sighs> Literature. I'm gonna clean out a desk or something. Ooh, there's a couple of pins. Look at that. Why can't I find a big old piece like that? <sighs> All right, we got. Ah, uh, yeah. Food. Dumpster snack. Alright, I think that's gonna be it on this one as far as like scrap goes. Best is crap is crap. Right here. Business card. No books and such. Okay, cool. Hey, we got a little bit of snippet. <clears throat> yeah, I'll start off with that. I'll start with that. All day long, son. Shit. Next episode. Oh, I see an aluminum stick. Big long stick. But unfortunately, I think that's going to be it. Ooh, Freebird Burrito. What up, Freebird Burrito? Look at that. You get two for the price of one bucket. Somebody's drugs, man. Drugs. Yeah, we'll just leave those there. <laughs> oh, I think I saw a microwave. I poked my head inside there. So do. Oh, yeah, microwave. Oh. Microwave no work no more. No working no more. <laughs> All right, all right, trash can monitor. Grab the monitor. This is it. Got some crappy looking DVDs. Human Anatomy and Physiology and Biology. Textbooks. What are the couple of pennies? What the heck is that? Inspire! Dirty, nasty, used old sketch. Yeah. Lady in the Tramp. Body of Evidence. Nintendo Wii U. FIFA Soccer. Some video games, books. Iron Thunder, the battle between the monitor and the Merrimack. Oh man, that's old school. Some troll treasure. Get in here. Bo Bice inside the Heaven Pixel. Elmo's World. Dude, these are hard enough to sell as it is if they don't have like the 
Finding Nemo Special Edition. Oh, it's a game. Maybe games will sell. Games will sell. Yeah, here y'all. Diana Crow. Crow. Okay, Diana Crow. Some books, DVDs, and stuff. That's it. All right. Oh. What we got sticking out here? What the heck? Ooh. It's like a it's like a hose full of goo with some fiber optic cable. There's another one. It's like full of goo. There's another one. Yeah, whatever the crap that is. I wonder if it's supposed to float, like some sort of like floating electrical something or another. Oh, hold up, what's that? The box with some stuff in it. Let's take a look. Yep, that's what it is. of all of this. I don't even think that's real wire. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's a little sticky. Like, ew. Like gel, almost like, like hair gel. Ew, it's all, ugh. Yeah, no. Yeah, I've never quite seen anything like that. The bizarre. Ooh. Does anybody see some stuff up top? There you go. Go fire pit action for you. Shh. If I can make it in the back of the truck. Yeah, good throw, Mike. Give yourself a pat on the back. Another one. Ooh, got any dirty mags? No dirty mags. Ah, right. right. oh, no big breath this is. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> it's a little pot. It's a little pot. Oh, there's a bag. Kenneth Cole. Kenneth Cole reaction. Put that white powder down there. Is that cocaine? Get the cocaine. Let's see. Some business cards. Charger. Cool bag though. I'll take the Kenneth Cole bag. Whoa. Whoa. Number two. Oh, look at that. A piece of a park bench. I wonder if the scrapyard will frown upon that. You've been stealing from the local park, huh? Cutting the things off of the things. Yeah, here. PH test for tennis ball floaty. Well, it was a little pressure gauge. There's a cute pot. Got a crack in it though. More pot. Lots of pot tonight, y'all. There's some sunglasses down there. Let's see. Uh, Versace, Versace, <laughs> yeah, Versace. Lots and lots of bucket. Oh, it's hose. Look at that toilet paper. 
AKA Mountain Money. I think that's what my dad used to call it when we were kids. Mountain Money. Mountain Money. Now it's It's a ball. Man, this stuff ain't got too much crap in it or ain't too much cook. What is it? What is that? Ah! I thought that was the cell phone. Give me my ball back. Give me my ball. All right. All right, we got our, our pot and our scrap. We got our little pot up here. Can't forget the little guys. Don't forget the little guys. All right, right, so stuff. Hello, open top. Oh, holy cow. There's some stuff in here, y'all. Garage doors. Look at that. There's like a ramp down there. Oh, it's so deep, though. Tell you what, let's pull the truck up right here. We'll just back it up and then we'll just get what we can. I see a big old ramp down there, but I doubt I'm gonna be able to get it up. It's buried, buried, buried. Let's see what we can do. Hold on. Hold on. All right, let's take a look, see, shall we? Right. Oh, look at all that metal pipe. Oh my. Okay. We're probably gonna be here for a, a minute. And this thing's full of metal pipe. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Right. Look at all of that! Holy cow! There's a hole there, y'all. I just found the hole. Yeah, let's go ahead and start some crap in the back of the truck here. Ooh, I took a little chunk out of my leg. Wire. Yeah, it is. Right. Go. A lot of oh, big pieces too. Big old pieces. Right All right. Oh, there's doors. Nice right there. Piece of stainless or aluminum. Probably aluminum based on how light it was. Right. Right. Look, some cat wire. We gotta bury everything. Like that big old. Uh,
Big pieces of pie. Some doors. I didn't break. I don't have my axe though. Let's just get what we can, y'all. Load her up. Pieces in here. Oh my gosh. There's so much. We're gonna be here a minute. And then these right here, I think that's brass. I think. Those are like those numbers for painting these guys. This is a wide. There's a box. It's got bullets in it. Bullets and nails. Be a little careful with that, huh? to the pipe at hand. Of course it would be buried in such. There's some big steel in here too. I can see I beams down here. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be getting the I-beams tonight. Way too far down in there. All right. Ooh, that looks like a piece of stainless. Oh, there's a big old motor in there. Look at that. Motor with a propeller. These are those big stamping numbers. Whew. Lots of steel. Oh, that's cold on side. Dang, I wish I'd have been here maybe a couple days sooner. All this crap may not have been so far buried. Lord have mercy. Sorry though. We're gonna capitalize here. Take a step down in here. Yeah. Alright. Phalanges. Some metal here. Here it goes. 
here. Look at that. Scrap! Is that metal? Is that metal? Is that metal? That's wood. Get this guy here. Holy shnikes. Oh, let's take a little cruise here. Doors. My camera's flopping around everywhere. Look at that. Some ballast. There's that. I can get that. Well, we hit a uh, we hit a good one tonight. Let me go lie there. So just enjoy the, enjoy the, the moment we have together, y'all. Just enjoy it. Tell you what, here's a bucket. Sorry about my camera, y'all. Scrap here. That's hung up on some. Okay. Big old bounce, lots of wire. Alright. Let's see. Got some over here. Oh, that's all buried. Golly, there's so much crap down here, y'all. Unbelievable. It's so buried though. It's so buried. There's an electrical box. Oh, so buried. Shoot. Yeah, there's a lot of that underneath here. All right. We've got some stuff here. There's some stuff. Big old box over here. All right. See here. Security over there. Right. Hopefully he doesn't guard this property too, because if he does, that's gonna be it. Chilling. We may be having to get out of here early, y'all. A little prematurely. I'm getting this box first. Oh, this is heavy. This is heavy. Right. 
Yeah, he's checking me out. He's turning around, let's go. Time to go, time to go. Whew. Well, all righty, scavengers, quite the eventful evening. I uh, started off kind of slow, was a little bit worried. You know, we just found some crap. Mostly in the beginning, you know, books, games, DVDs, not crap, you know, cheap garage sale stuff. But that last dumpster we hit, well, uh, boy, we found some stuff, but man, I left a lot of stuff. Don't shoot me, guys, don't shoot me. But security was creeping, he was checking me out, and trust me, a trespassing ticket is not going to be worth the scrap that we pull out of that dumpster. But that being said, I will definitely be going back to get more stuff. Uh, all this crap I got to you know, like, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, take to the scrap yard, get what we can out of there, electric motors, uh, lots of pipe, well, I mean, there was like, I mean, you guys saw, that thing was so full, and I feel so bad, but I mean, in a perfect world, you know, I could have had, yeah, I could have been out there all day long, you know, just taking crap off the top, taking the metal out, whatever. But, you know, it's not a perfect world. We do not live in a perfect world, you know. And some people ask me, you know, sometimes, or they don't ask me, but they, I see comments on the, uh, the, the uh, videos where they're like, hey, Mike, you know, it seems like you're a little bit rushed, a little bit hurried, you know, you, don't, you need to slow down, take your time. It's like, you can't always do that because, I mean, there's security, as y'all saw, there was security. And I don't even really know if he was, like, part of that property, but he was definitely checking me out, all right? Definitely check me out. And I'm not gonna hang around for him to like make a quick little phone call to the popo and be like, oh yeah, there's this dude trespassing over here, digging in the trash, and then the cops show up, and then you get a you know three four hundred dollar ticket for you know trespassing. I mean that's you know that's that's counterproductive when it comes to scrap. You know it's like the scrap in there would you know like it's not gonna cover the ticket. But I'm definitely gonna go back. Definitely gonna go back because we were able to squeeze about 15 minutes in there before he rolled up. We'll go back again tomorrow night, maybe the next, and, uh, you know, we'll try and get some more stuff because there was a ton of stuff in there. There was more garage doors, more hardware. There was so much crap, so much crap, you know, but it's like, like, I literally probably could have spent an entire hour just digging, digging in that dumpster and pulling crap out. I mean, there was boxes, electrical boxes full of wires, you know, there was beams, there was that big ramp down there. I mean, there was so much crap. But we're going to try and go back and get out what we can. But in the meantime, I mean, we got a few things. I mean, we probably got, if I had to put a number on it, probably 40, 50 bucks of scrap out of that dumpster. Lots of this steel pipe. I mean, the truck, she was kind of squatting a little bit. So I know there's a little bit of weight back there. Uh, probably six to eight hundred pounds like heavy stuff heavy stuff heavy stuff so I'm gonna go to the scrapyard in the morning just to unload this crap and then we're gonna go out there and we're gonna try to hit that dumpster again and get a little bit more uh, really bummed that the uh, security showed up but you know it is what it is you know and that's why sometimes I seem like I'm in a hurry because you never know when the security patrol guy is gonna come creeping around and I mean he may not be able to do much I mean he can't like restrain you he can't do this he can't sh I don't think he can shoot you I don't think he can shoot you but he can definitely get on that Motorola hey you know find the nearest patrol officer cruising by and then have him just roll on by and they roll up on you and then you know you get that trespassing ticket so but anyways we got what we could got a few bucks got some decent stuff too I think some of the pipe in here is state well not I mean most of it's all steel but there's a couple pieces we pulled out that I think maybe a little bit of stainless so <sighs> when we go to the scrapyard tomorrow, just get this iron out, clean it out. Probably shouldn't have grabbed these, for, you know, like or hold on to these till last, because they're. Well, I mean, I mean, look, they just take up space. You know, these doors here or whatever. But let me see something. I highly doubt they're aluminum. You never know, though. I think some bay doors, some bay doors could actually. Come on, bro. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's all steel, steel, steel. So, yeah, and then these guys, we found a few of these. Like, that's brass. That's not a lot of brass. I mean, there ain't much weight in there at all, but that's, I think it was C.H. Hansen. They make the little numbers and stuff. Uh, but this little guy right here we found, I found very interesting. I've never seen anything quite like this. The Power Driver Remington 480. 
powder actuated tool. Powder, so I'm guessing gunpowder. And uh, yeah, Remington, is that like, I mean, is that the same Remington that I'm thinking of? I think Grand Rapids, Michigan or whatever? No, this is out of Bowling Green, Kentucky. But I definitely want to be a little bit careful. These have these bullets. And we had found these a while back, but it was an empty strip. We actually have the bullets here. So I guess it's a nail gun that instead of being pneumatic or electric or hydraulic, it's powder actuated, meaning it works with the shot of a gun. Yeah, don't cock gun against hand. I know nothing about this. That is a cool piece of equipment though. Um, I'm guessing for maybe nailing in concrete, something just you need just something good, hard, boom, you know? But awesome! Y'all let me know down below what y'all think about that fine. Crazy, crazy. But let's check out this big box back here. Oh. Whoa. This thing was heavier than a mug. So let's see. Is it open? Oh yeah, it opens. What is so heavy in here? Ugh. There's a box. There's some paperwork. Lots of wires. Lots and lots and lots of wires. What weighs so much? Is that this right here? Are those breakers? I don't know. I don't know. That thing is nuts. Definitely gonna have to clean that sucker up and get some wires off of that. Yeah, there's hoses, wires, <sighs> little breaker things. These are, um, yeah, I think those are little breakers, man. That's crazy. But, I mean, just the crap that they threw away in this dumpster just blows my mind. And that wasn't a scrap dumpster, because y'all saw there was, like, wood doors, wood pallets, lumber. Like, they were clearing out. So we are definitely gonna go back and try to get a little bit more. I mean, might as well, it's free money. And uh, we'll try to be a little bit stealthier. Maybe try to go at a different time. I don't know, maybe a little bit earlier. But, yeah. Awesome, awesome. But uh, anyways, guys, all right. Whew. That's gonna do it for this episode of Dumpster Diving. Got a little battle scar right there. No problem though from my BMX days. All of my shins are pretty much, you know, <laughs> scar tissue anyway, so I can't feel it. Uh, it's not a gusher, but you know, crap happens. And uh, you know, that's another reason why they have security around, you know, places like that with the dumpsters because, you know, it's dangerous. It's very dangerous, especially, you know, getting in them open tops. You know, you can get hurt, you know? And, uh, you know, some of these, some of these companies are like, you know, somebody gets hurt in our dumpster, you know, that's a potential lawsuit. But, I mean, me, I'm personally, I mean, I'm not gonna sue somebody for my stupidity. It's just, you know, like, I have common sense. <laughs> and, you know, if I'm being an idiot and I'm, you know, climbing in a dumpster and fall and hurt myself or whatever, that's on me, you know? I'm not gonna blame the company for, you know, not allowing me or, or, you know, like for not stopping me from doing it, you know, but anyways, you know, is what it is. So very, da very dangerous. It can be very dangerous. Don't, you know, this is not like a video on like, you know, like I'm not showing you how to do this. This is more entertainment, you know, don't go out and dig in these dumpsters, you know, like it's dangerous. There's, you never know what's up in there. You never know what's up in there. Like, I could have slid down and then, you know, got stabbed by something, you know, and then we could have had a whole different situation on our hands. But anyways, guys, alrighty. Well, thank y'all so much for tagging along. Appreciate it. It was a total pleasure. Uh, be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, uh, share with your friends. Super extra, extra special shout out to everybody that bought some merch this past week. Appreciate that, guys. If y'all are interested, down below Teespring. Got some stuff, go get y'all some stuff. Uh, help out the scavenger, you know, need a couple bucks, get some band-aids on these uh, legs. And uh, uh, side note also, still don't have a P.O. box. Don't be sending stuff, cause it's probably gonna come right back. Uh, I did manage to get a few parcels before they uh, gave my box away. And then, uh, so like, I'll be, you know, trying to contact the people 
who had uh, sent me some stuff, uh, you know, maybe write them a letter or, or an email if they sent an email, you know, because I did get a few things. But right now, don't send anything till I get a new P.O. box, guys. And then, uh, you know, we'll get it all figured out. But, you know, it's a postal service. But anyways, all right, guys, y'all take care. Have a wonderful week. Be safe out there. Hope we are getting a little bit of this fall weather. Make sure y'all wash your hands. Cover your face in public. And just overall, be safe. Don't, don't do what I do. Just don't do as I do. Do as I say. <laughs> all right, y'all take care. We're going to get back at it. We're going to hit that dumpster again. Shit. Sure. What we got here, y'all? Scrappy, scrap, scrap.